and Hamas, you know, so yeah, but the uses problem, those okay, figures. We can, okay, we, the, the problem with that, though, is that they very clearly said, and, like, stated and show that they don't uh, differentiate between dead uh, soldiers and dead civilians. Their numbers are just dead in Gaza. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so, yeah, when you, okay, even if we lower it a bit, let's say, let's say uh, 10,000 10, uh, soldiers killed by the IDF, which I think is uh, an under-exaggeration, uh, if we lower it by a few thousand, mm -hmm. it still takes a big chunk off of it. And when you look at other wars that have happened in the Middle East, like like a, with this scale of like what's happening, it's uh, it's actually on the low side, no matter how tragic war is. I mean, every person is an individual, but, and no one should have to die. But uh, when Hamas does all these things to maximize civilian casualties, like they hide behind civilian infrastructure, they start the war, um, all this stuff. Like, well, the thing is, though, that this is uh, only the beginning. I mean, <laughs> they're actually they cut so off all the food, you know, to, to uh, you know, 2.3 million people. Well, in a, There's no food. They've actually and they even killed the uh, volunteers who were trying to deliver the oh, food. Oh, and about this week. the uh, humanitarian aid. So, it's the, even the UN, the UN figures show, like, explicitly, Israel does let a lot of aid, like, like way more than they let let in before the war. There's a, I like I think, uh, not according to even the United States now. You well, know, the U, the even US. the U.S. is the UN. The UN. You, said you, this. So, um, there's a hundred, I think, a hundred around 160 something aid trucks, maybe more. I forget the exact number, but it was a lot. There are a not lot of anymore. aid trucks they, are getting in there. They cut down. Well, um, hold on, but let me. So the reason a lot of this aid isn't getting to civilians is because they let the aid trucks into Gaza, but once they're in Gaza, they don't know what's going to happen to it. There could be, like, Hamas steals it, even just, like, little groups of, like... No, they can't. No, there's Hamas videos can't of Hamas. control Hamas. it, because, you know, the Palestinians just... No, no, I'm not saying they control they, it. They, they swarm the trucks and they no. take whatever they yeah, well, want. Yeah, hold on, let me finish. So, um, Hamas doesn't steal all of it. They've, I'm sure they've stolen some. But the, the problem is, the way that it's given out isn't perfect. If people, like, overcharge for it, people steal it, and then, like... And then uh, charge people like way more mm. for it and do all this stuff. So the the reason there's a starvation crisis is because I mean obviously because Hamas started a war and they they should bear the responsibility of now, Israel controls seven crossing points into Gaza. Yeah, but they and let, they're all closed. They let most of the aid in. No, they don't. They do, but then in not the, according to even the U.S. That's well, why they set up that wharf to bring aid in to parachute aid in because Israel is closing down the border crossings. Well, no, I know the last they're, they're I heard, not there was two trucks let in at the air crossing in So the what north. I'm saying is Israel definitely isn't letting as much aid in as they should be, hmm. but they are letting a lot more than people are saying, and it's hmm. according to the UN. Hmm. Like, the, according the to the is UN, when yeah. it, it's when declined. It, you no, know, it's definitely declined. Like, there's things I don't agree with that. Like, the IDF turned around an aid truck just as a scissors in it. Like, I've, they, I, don't, I don't think it's perfect, but... Once they get into Gaza, they can control what happens to it, and in, in that, in consequence, it doesn't end up getting to a lot of the people. Um, uh, well, I saw the figures. You know, even before October the seventh, the number of transports allowed into Gaza had increased. It was like a lot. You know, it was still like two, three hundred a day. Now Whereas before, it was like a hundred trucks transport a day. And it was getting better, and then all then after October the seventh, they cut off. Well, here's the thing. All the trucks. I mean, like there's 1,500 trucks waiting, you know, at the Rafa crossing in the south. I signed a picture of it, you know, from a satellite. We, I mean, we know Hamas should they should do more. Do you agree that they should do more for their people? It's like, right? They had all that money, they could have built bomb shelters. And what I'm saying is, if they didn't, they started a war. Fine, sure, start a war. But then they should bear the responsibility of being able to feed and protect their civilians from the harm and, like, not hide behind them. They don't have they, control this, over the that. Reason, the Israel reason this war controls so, Gaza. No, they, now they do. But before, before they were Before, in yeah. No, they, all the Hamas crossings was, were controlled by Israel. Yeah, yeah, but inside Gaza, there wasn't one IDF soldier, one, one uh, Jew living there. It was entirely controlled by Hamas and the other jihadist yeah. groups. Yeah. Um, <coughs> No, so they, no other occupation. They should uh, bear the responsibility. Okay, let's... No, I, I thought they were French speaking.
they start a war, they should be able to at least somewhat protect their civilian, somewhat care for their civilian. Okay. They had, they, they could have, uh, you know, maybe with their billions of dollars they received from uh, Iran and Qatar, they could have got a lot of food and stockpiles for their people or built bomb shelters. But instead, they just continue to build their tunnels and shoot rockets that will just get deflected into Israel. Okay, I mean, we, you, you can know, that's, like we that's can argue about that's what not they. Me, you know? I know we can argue about what they did in, on October seventh, and I don't want to do that again because we don't get anywhere. Yeah. But this is stuff that you just you know, like these are these are facts that the uh, the Gazans are suffering. I'd argue because of most mostly because of Hamas. Okay. Not according to. Uh, you know, the impartial bodies, you know. Security Council has called for a ceasefire now, ordering Israel to stop. Without, yeah, but it wasn't a fair ceasefire. There, uh, there was a hostage deal. Yeah. But, then, you, know, uh, you know, nonetheless, that's what they asked for, you know. This is an international body. Okay, but the problem with all these ceasefire propositions is that most of them, all of them, like, from what I've seen, are directed at Israel. Like, Israel, you should be the one to uh, do this. Not, Barely any of the demands are on Hamas, and they're the ones. Well, the Hamas ones who, has, has, has agreed to a ceasefire already. It and Israel has agreed to ceasefires. No. But yes. When? Israel has agreed to multiple ceasefires. Only but one. Hamas doesn't. That lasted seven days. No, there. And there was respected after, by Hamas. No, there were ceasefire propositions after the one in I think November, but uh, Hamas didn't. Agree. No genocide allowed in Gaza. Not in our name. This stuff ends up in oh, the hi. Name. How's it going? Good. I argue with this guy. We're, we're debating every week. But there is a Palestine, it's occupied, and it's going to be, you know, uh, recognized by the General Assembly soon. Israel may even be suspended because it's refusing to uh, obey the International Court of Justice. I guess you're Jewish because it says Jews against the occupation? Yeah, I'm second generation. You are, you're not. I'm a Bundist. You know what the Bund is? I, I know very well yeah, what the so Bund is. So. I, just, I want to say something. I don't even necessarily disagree with you. I think right now there's so much hatred in the world against the Jews. There's such a focus and a spotlight on Israel. There's so much evil in this world. Where, where did you protest against Syria when Assad was killing his his thousands yeah. of? Yeah, I was. You did good, good yeah, because I, I don't think see. Think he's disgusting. Yeah, even though the opposition but has why been aren't bought you, out. So where were all those people protesting against all? Because Israel this is, is not one Syria. Country there's yes. the flag. There's the genocide yes, but flag there's up there. One country for the Jewish people. I don't even disagree with you. I'm against the occupation. I hate the settlers. Yeah. No problem. But right now, it's not the time. It's not the time. Uh, there is so much hatred and anti-Semitism against. And I stood. I led marches here against the Israeli government. Yeah. Rabbi Boris was with me. Yeah. We led in with all our love for Israel. We yeah. we led marches against BB yeah. and against his anti-democracy. Yeah. But now it's not the time. There's so much hatred. Really shame on you. Shame on you. Look, it's enough. Are we supposed to be led around by government that we didn't even have a vote for? We don't have I, a I vote, right? I hate BB with all my heart. I would be happy for him this to disappear. This government is not a Jewish it's government. It's not the time. It's just a Zionist it's government. It's our government right now. No, it's and not. right now no. there's so much hatred against Israel. It's not the time. There's a million other causes right now. And if right Jewish now, people don't speak up, then people will think that it's the fault of the right Jews. Right now there's a hierarchy of needs. And right now there's hostages being taken. If Israel puts down its arms, it's, if Israel puts down its arms, at, uh, Hamas is just going to come and kill every last Israeli. No, no. Yes, and Israel left. No, by the I, way, I've Israel read their left, charter of 2017. Israel it, left. Left. I was Hamas living in Israel when Israel left in 2005. There was no occupation of Gaza. Israel left Gaza and pulled out. My cousins were in the army, pulling out the last settlers yeah. who wouldn't leave. It was yeah. a very painful time yeah, to I Israel saw that. for yeah. Israel. I was against the settlers. I hated them. I wanted them pulled out. Yeah. But we left, and this is what happened. So I, I, I'm very left-wing, believe me. But this is not okay. It's not the time. Yes, but it's you're not, not thinking the about time. the fact that the Hamas fighters, 80% of whom are orphans, are the grandchildren of the Palestinians who were expelled from all the Palestinian villages around Gaza and they in had 48. Their, and they had their, their chances their to Their motives them. don't really matter when they're you're not right. accomplishing anything. Like, positive. They you know what? And, and you're absolutely... Listen to no what goal. he's saying. Listen to what he's saying. Their motives, you don't, you don't, you don't well, accomplish your motives by beheading and raping innocent people at a Nova Festival. That's that. not the way. That's the not the way. The Nova Festival was a massacre, yes, and they okay. were shooting civilians, you know, yes, without so meat. Yes, but that's not the yes, way peace gets accomplished. The mass rapes, you know, is just a horror story to justify genocide. 
Hey, There's no genocide. Genocide 